Peoples of the universe, please attend carefully. The message that follows is vital to the future of you all. Yeah, I'm back. Here you go. And yeah, my first question I have, my first question I have, what's your way intro is, how did I not know that uh, Anthony Ainley was gay? <laughs> right? Like, how much gay did he need to be to be gay? I mean, like, he seems reason. I, like, you watch him now, he goes, wow, this is a pretty gay master. That's a pretty darn gay master. What's going on with that? Um, but there you go. Uh, we have anybody here? There is no one in the chat. Wow. That's on you. I'm just going to say hello. Hello. Uh, if anyone's out there, say hello. Is YouTube like doing anything? I don't know. Uh, uh, let's, let's, uh, I've got things to talk about tonight. Oh, there you go. Hello. Uh, PD Rich is here. Um, I have things to talk about tonight. But is there anything you guys want me to talk about? I, I kind of like, oh, Heather Sulu. Uh, uh, Osborne Biscuits, exclamation mark, right from one. I like Osborne Biscuits. Uh, Icon Bear, um, sorry, low. I don't know. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? A disaster area, how are you? Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, not know. Okay, he's very, very, very gay. Uh, Raymond Williams. So, I've had a bit of a weird 24 hours. Uh, um, uh, God has kicked me in the balls. <laughs> And as does happen every now and again, I was out alive. <laughs> it's in all fairness, I was out alive. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You may know if you're, if you're an ongoing viewer of my channel that I've been a bit freaked out by the oncoming apocalypse. You know, it's, no, 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 no. Like, like, and, and yeah, you know, I'll be fine if I was a year in the future and you were kind of what form it was going to take, right? But as far as all I, I know, it could be. Yeah, you know, Planet of the Apes, you know, and we could be uh, uh, subservient to some damn dirty apes. Um, fine. So, uh, uh, so yeah, that has been. So, I would say my religious observance has been, uh, I wouldn't say lax, just not as good as it could have been, right? I would, uh, I, uh, yeah, I normally like put as much effort I can. I do into everything, right? I try and put as much effort I can into everything because I like to, you know, do, I like to do everything as good as I can do it. So this is as good as it gets. That's the other thing. This is as good as it gets. Uh, but it's true. But uh, 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 so, but recently I've been, you know, a bit distracted, shall we say again, by the oncoming apocalypse, as, as one would be, right? So I, um, <coughs> I, uh, um, but I got, I Here's the thing, we've got this thing called Mitzvah Gere, Mitzvah Avera Gere Avera. A good deed births another good to bleed you to more good deeds. And that's really true. Do that in your life. Uh, some movie is, is movie is uh, called As Good As It Gets. It's a very, very true uh, uh, um, demonstration of that. But equally, doing bad things leads you into a spiral, right? So, yeah, so one thing led to another. And, you know, next thing I knew, I woke up and I was in a, you know, naked in an un unfurnished apartment in Morocco. With my car keys in my ass, yeah. No, it didn't get that far. <laughs> oh boy, I hope the nut bags uh, 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 take a clip of that. <laughs> I, uh, 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 I think I got to use that clip as a as a uh, channel ad. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, so so uh, so uh, I I was out of line. Anyway, whatever, I was out of line. Uh, 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 God kicked me in the balls. <laughs> it got my attention. And I think I'm okay, but well, wow. so here's, here's what's happened in the last, I don't know, 24 hours, right? It was, I recorded, I did Friday, did really well, right? I recorded three videos, boom, boom, boom. And I'm ready to go. Uploaded one, fine. They came out fine. They seemed, seemed fine, right? Spot check them, what wasn't a problem. Then I posted the first one. Uh, and the sound kept going out. It's like, well, what the hell's going on? Somebody told me the sound kept. And if you if you heard it and you struggled through it, I thank you all for struggling through it. I do apologize, right? And so I checked the, the source video, and it seemed okay. But then I could hear how it got, what happened when in the upload where it got like, right? So it's not usable, in, in, it's not in my mind. So the other ones, are, so I re I, tr I tried to fix the settings. I thought I knew what happened. I tried to fix the settings. Anyway, so by the way, I, I'm doing it out, out of order. So I got. Uh, three videos I did, I got ahead of myself on Friday. I felt really good about myself. But then, boom, none of, them, none of them were usable. I wasted the whole day. Uh, and then I was like, really? I was, then I was like pissed off with God. I was like, really? Really? Yeah, like, like ah, yeah, well, come on. I got to get a spanking for that? Really? Uh, uh, <laughs> then 
um, last night, last night, the uh, which is the Sabbath, right? It was a pleasant time. Um, little Daisy, little Daisy's getting big, right? And oh, she's got a lot. I, we can't take her on walk yet because, um, uh, um, it was, uh, she's got, got uh, hasn't got all her shots yet. I think she gets out on Thursday, anyway. So she's really got a lot of energy, poor little thing. So, anyway, so then, uh, uh, on Friday night, I, 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 that the neighbors come over and say there's a, there's a you have a burst pipe or something right and we it, we there's a pipe that was leaking that's leaking water that so we had to turn off water for the house which means we had to coordinate uh pooing right we had to have we we, we had five, we have five bathrooms there's five of us we, we were all we were able to disperse you had you could do whatever you want there baby we don't mind we don't we're, we're not we're not casting aspersions whatever you need to do in your bathroom is what you need to do. Where no no one's arguing you. Okay, uh, uh, but yeah, my my uh, um, uh, my line is listen. If it's, 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 if it's brown, flush it down. If it's yellow, it's all mellow. It's all mellow, baby. Um, but uh, so yeah, so that's it. So now we we got it like the, it's, it's leaking much less, but we had to put it on because we got like shower and laundry and like, like water's really important and we can't get the, we're trying to get in touch with the plumber i mean it's a really simple fix i can see the fix it's less we need the plumber to do it um so there's that going down and that's, that's like a real like it this is the way okay when god's mad at you <laughs> think of somebody who I, I feel i have a relationship with god i do uh i think everybody can you just got to cultivate it well, what God's mad at you? This is what He does. He's like, Whoa, what? And then I got a ton of extra work I needed to do for this client. And then uh, this client said, so, so, I was, so then I rushed. Okay, so tonight after the Sabbath, I rushed. I said, you know what? Boom! I'm going to re-record at least two, those two videos. Right? I might put again. Yeah, I'll re-record it. But I said, and I thought, you know, what? let's fix, fix the settings. I'll do that. And so I recorded it. This is the review of Plight and Pimpernel. So I recorded this. Three times, right? Three times it's on my head. This is the second time right now I recorded it. I recorded it. Bloody sound was dropping out again. So I had to go into all this, the settings and find where it was dropping out. Like, finally. Okay, got it, got it. And I re-recorded, did a five-minute chunk, and like, and I tested it. That was fine. And it, this new version, I think I got it sorted, right? I think I got it. But like, really, that's the way. So I had to record that three times. That's the way God kicks you in the balls. Don't piss God off. That's my... That's my my uh, 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 advice order. By the way, by the way, this the the, the uh, this is really just good in your life. Okay, this is good. Doesn't matter if you're uh, where you, where you are theologically. There, if you've done something you feel bad about, right? There are four stages to redemption. It's called tshuva, uh, repentance. You know. Uh, so the, here are the four stages. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Realize what you're doing is wrong. That, that, that's number one. That's not such a bad one. Right? You go, oh, man, I shouldn't be doing that. Uh, uh, stop doing the thing you're doing. That's the other thing, right? Don't don't, uh, don't, don't keep doing it. That, that a lot of people find, find a lot trickier. Uh, step three. This one's really important, right? Really important. Say it out. Vidui. You go to confession. If you have a priest, go to a priest, right? Say it to someone. It's, it's good for you, right? It's good for you. Um which is it's really yeah I, I had this whole thing with my my local rabbi a year ago and like what i did i just thought he was my equal or better right i had a really reasonably good opinion of him i had no idea he was so beneath me right like i like he won't do that he doesn't realize it's good to apologize anyway so uh, uh that's a say, say it out to someone say i did this and this is wrong and i feel bad about it right and i Want to make recommend if you can make recommends, make make any recommends. But here's some here's the only real recommends you can do. Um for the full stage of repentance where it's real, right? Where it's real is uh is when you commit never to do it again, right? Commit to never do it again, uh, and come up with strategies, make make it real, make it like you actually have to strategize how to do that. Um and uh, and then you'll probably find yourself put in a similar situation. Uh, that's how I do it a bunch of times, man. That's crazy. So uh, yeah, that's what's going. I curse my whole house. <laughs> but you know, you know, what what, what can you do? <laughs> what's done is done, baby. What's done is done. 
I think it's okay though. I think I could. Now I'm very happy I got the sound issue sorted out, right? I do. I have got sound issue. So then you guys want me to talk about, you let me know. Let's have a look. So I said, I do, um, uh, where do I get up to? Raymond Williams, uh, Merck said he have the Sulu. Uh, I don't know what those, what those emoticons mean. It's a blonde lady with a cross. Okay. I think that's what it is. Uh, I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. Uh, or is that, is that a cross or is that a female sign? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Bowman, how you doing? Resident Alien and Cobra Kai, refreshing. Oh, I got to check out Resident Alien. Didn't know that was out already. Thank you. Cobra Kai, freaking love it. I, I want to finish it. I got too much bloody on. Um, Mayable 23, how you doing, sir? Uh, Planet Awoke, more like, well, that's what it is. I don't know. Get your, get your dirty head, but that's what it is. Listen, I came to a realization China is not the adversary of, of America, China's the role model. Right, China's a they want re education camps, re education camps. It, 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 if I didn't believe in God, I'll be really worried. <laughs> so, listen, I don't know the way it leaves you if you're an atheist because if you're an atheist, you'd be like, Oh, oh crap. <laughs> the, yeah, no, listen, the, the, the good old fashioned uh, re education camps, uh, where maybe people concentrate real hard, uh, uh, I believe are a coming or would be a coming. Uh, uh, that's the only that's the only direction you can go at this point. That's the only way you can go, and I believe that's coming. But I don't think so. I, don't, I, th I think God's going to stop it before I. I think so, right? Luckily, I believe in God. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, how was there already three downloads, Rabbi? Whoa! I, I I'm really excited when I get downloads. It's great for me. Right, it does my channel fantastic, and I love it. I love it. I've been really bummed out. I kept, I keep checking the uh, the nutbag account, right, and to see see what. Like, I love it when they talk about me. It's so funny. Uh, it's I mean, I, it's gold that they are so unaware and po face and stupid, just stupid. It's uh, every one of their tweets is more hilarious. Like, well, I don't understand. Has he never seen Doctor Who? Does he you know in episode twenty five? Shut up, nerd. Okay, just should whatever. But like, yes, I've seen Doctor Who, right? Right. But they're, they're, they're all like, it's the most asinine, stupid children. Oh, I do. I, I, it's a sick. So they haven't done anything for like a week or so. I've been really bummed out, right? Because <laughs> it's like, I really enjoy it. I just really enjoy it. I'm sorry. It's not, uh, that's not very Christian of me. <laughs> Not be doing. Uh, Father Chris and Miller, how you doing? Uh, Darren M. P. D. Rich. Uh, we go. Derek the Manus is here. Um, Paul Mount, uh, Tom Vance. I, okay, I have no idea. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to get involved. Don't want to get involved. Uh, I uh, don't know what that happened. Uh, at SV, there's loads of uh, anti vax conspiracy theories going around in the Netherlands right now. Netherlands is in bad shape. Netherlands is about to go down, right? Netherlands looks like the first one to go over, right? It seems to be in Europe. But I think that's going to spark it up. Listen, that immigration policy didn't do any, any favors. Let me just say that, right? It didn't. It didn't. It, what, it didn't create long-term cohesivity. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would say. Uh, yeah, yeah. I would say the Netherlands is a dangerous place to be. Netherlands is more dangerous than, than America, and I wouldn't go to America, right? I'm scared going to America right now. Uh, but Netherlands is more dangerous. It's probably for Jews. Where it's more dangerous than normal people, it's much more dangerous for Jews. I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Uh, Peter Rich says, hit the like button. He is absolutely correct. I cannot argue with you there. Look at that. I'm even that. I probably won't, uh, wouldn't frame it that way from the pulpit, but yeah, okay, good. Good. Thank you. Well, see, this is, see, I feel like I'm a release valve for you, Father Miller. I say it so you don't have to, right? So there you go. We well, one hand, one what was it? One one hand scratches the other back or something like that. Yeah, listen, who, who who's ever right at the, in the end of this apocalypse? You gonna we're gonna look after the other one, right? <laughs> you know, I assume you guys are right. You guys think, oh, let me. He's okay. <laughs> I'll do the same for you. Okay, whatever. Bags. Uh, who else we got there? Cam Cam is here. Uh, wait, 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 uh, Hap, whoa, I haven't pronounced your name. Hapki uh, Hap Delock. How are you doing? I'm from Texas. Right? Texas. There you go. I hope that'll be the heart of the free states. Heart of the free states in Texas. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you guys haven't seceded yet, quite frankly. <laughs> All the gear, no idea. Oh, boy. That, that, no, that, nothing, nothing epitomized my father like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> All the gear, no idea. Bless it. Well, he was very cool in his time. Very cool in his time. Fine. So what do we have to talk about tonight? I, I Do I hear that Christopher Plummer has passed away? I, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to look at Bounding into Comics. I haven't seen it yet. We're going to look at it together and see if there's any news, right? Oh, we should look at Radio Times as well. Yes, please, Radio Times. i got so much stuff to do about the BBC right now. That's... Uh, uh, like there's no idea. You know, we're twice as good as Netflix. Yeah, oh, shut up. I want to watch Netflix. <laughs> you know. Hey, where did I go? Oh, there I am. Come on a second. Uh, is that working? Here we go. So what we got there. Psychology Day unpublishes Gadsat's article criticizing celebrities after he obliterated Hollywood elitist. <laughs> I heard about that. Yes. Uh, the Suicide Squad has roaster and setting revealed in new extended synopsis. Yeah, don't really care. Uh, Zack Snyder pushes back against accusation Justice. Though, oh, yeah, they all think it's toxic fandom. Toxic fans think something that isn't them is toxic fandom. Kelly Jones shows off a uh, terrifying new Batman design. That, I mean, I love Kelly Jones. Great work. Um, I thought Gadsad wasn't real. I thought Gadsad was a, like a fake um, uh, like amalgam. Let's see how we obliterate Seth Rogen. That sounds funny. So I will not know this. Uh, E.K. Johnson wishes white woman would stop ruining things. Don't we all, darling? Don't we all? Don't we all? <laughs> Listen, we've been saying that for a while. Uh, speaking of which, what's well, Selma Hayek doing here? She looks like an awfully good swimmer. The Eternal Zephyr Selma Hayek describes a movie as uh, different compared to other MCU, MCU movies. Well, I, I don't know. If that's a picture right there, uh, 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 may, I, may I just point out this picture? If this is indeed a picture from, uh, what's it called again? Uh, that, whatever shit movie she's going to be in. I want to see that movie. Yeah, that, that that's a costume. Yes, yes. You just convinced me to see the movie. Shut up. Don't say anything so I don't notice you, right? Don't, I don't want to hear you. No, no. And this better be what you look like in the movie, right? If not, I'm not going. And hopefully I get it on download because I don't want to go. All right. Um, yeah, there we go. What's going on? Star Wars Squadron's writer Mitch Dyer reveals role on Gotham Knights narrative. T who cares? Uh, who cares? Jeez. Who would have thought a woman like that would say, I wish white women would stop ruining things? Who would have thought she would look like that? What a shocker. That's so unusual. Privileged white woman. Wow. Uh, Game of Thrones is never happening. Game of Thrones is never happening. Uh, he doesn't like internet assholes who say, you know, it's been years and years and years since you said it will get it done and it's not done. Um, all right, fine, there's nothing going on. There's nothing going on, although I really want to do a video on this. I think I'm doing a video on this tomorrow. Uh, former, but oh no, I got the I want to do the a Red Dwarf video. Has anything been going down in, in Dimension Jump? Let's have a quick look. Oh, one second, let's go over to uh, Red dwarf.co.uk because there's all that going down with Doug Naylor and uh, Grant uh, let's see what uh, News Roundup 2 says uh, no, 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 no no nothing there um yeah, okay, nothing okay, like this is a huge story and they're like yeah, no Nothing to see here. Fine, let's see what Radio Times has to say. Go on, Radio Times. Give me some stupidity. Give the rabbis something to take the piss out of. Oh, oh I see Doctor Who. I see Doctor Who. <laughs> what are they going to do? Christian says Joe Bridget brings a different flavor of Doctor Who. You mean what? Like exactly like Chris Chibnall? Uh, oh, like, like that different flavor. Uh, I mean, exactly like, uh, what's his name? The guy, we, the only guy we like, Graham. It seems to bring an idea. Like, it's a different actor. Who gives a shit? Um, all right, fine. Is that Weeping Angels game? Who cares? Is that anything to do with Jody? Who cares? Doctor Who? Who cares? Okay, let's talk about One Division. Let's start with One Division or Snowpiercer. Let me think. Let's start with uh, a bit of One Division. Let's, let's look up their synopsis of the episode. So, listen, we're spoiling it that much. Whatever the uh, uh, synopsis says, we're gonna say, right. So we go to, um, so I think Wikipedia better than IMDb, right? Let's have a look. Episodes. Uh, no, episode, there you go. We now, fine, so we're up to episode five. 
God, it's only another three or four weeks. So listen, my, okay, my biggest problem with this show is this, is that I don't really care about Wanda at all. I kind of like, uh, I don't care about Monica Rambeau. None of these people have earned my interest. And that's where you fail, like Marvel. You are treating this like it's Robert Downey Jr., who I'm invested in. It's not. I mean, I, like, how much screen time has she actually had? She was in... Well, let's have a look. Let's look it up. I don't think it's many. I don't think I've seen her much. Oh, one second. Let's have a go. Uh, did a Scarlet Witch. Wanda Maximum Scarlet Witch. Let's have a look. Okay, I want to see. Oh, come on. I don't want to see the bloody WandaVision 2020. Okay, so here we have it. When is it? She was in Age of Ultron. She was in Winter Soldier. Really? I don't remember that. Winter Soldier was good. <laughs> And she's like, okay, she appears in Winter Soldier. I'm surprised because Winter Soldier is pretty good. But again, it was like, okay, Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron was terrible. Civil War is good. But again, she's like a supporting character. I didn't notice in any of these movies. Like, she's like, okay, so she's been in Winter Soldier, Age of Ultron, Civil War, uh, Infinity War, Endgame. Uh, she's going to be in the Multiverse of Madness, right? Fine. But I'm not like again. I, I they really built up uh, uh, Iron Man and thought they gave him a movie each, right? None of them were ever supporting characters, so I don't really care, right? I care more about Vision because uh, he seems to have a more interesting story. But it seems like Wands has just gone bonkers, right? That's where we are right now, turning her into a villain. Um, that's essentially where 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 I am. Oh, Chris and uh, uh, uh I did pass away. We'll do a little Chris and Plummer uh, retrospective uh, uh, tonight, probably. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so that and they're treating it like I care, and I don't. Here's the thing: I don't. I care more about the people she's torturing than her as a character. But fine, let's read the synopsis. Uh, 1980s in the 1980s setting, uh, which they actually do quite well. But I thought they switched to a 1990s setting. Speaking of which. I watched uh, the first episode of Babylon 5. I'm doing a major rewatch of it, I decided. So watch the first episode. First, it's very good. Uh, secondly, it is uh, uh, really 90s. Like, really not. You forgot how 90s the 90s were. It is so 90s. It's unbelievably 90s. Uh, even, like, the upscale special effects are 90s. It's all 90s. <laughs> and it's so much like yeah, you know, 60s sci-fi 60s. This is very 90s. Uh this is very like Earth Final Conflict, which I quite like actually. Uh in a 1980s setting, Wanda and Vision struggle to stop Tommy and Billy from crying. Agnes offers the help, uh helps to look after the boys, but the vision questions her behavior. He and Wanda interrupt with uh when Tommy and Billy suddenly age up to five. Yeah, they say. They bring a dog and they want to have a, have the, be able to look after the dog. And she says, no, you've got to be at least five to have a dog. And so the boy suddenly ate himself up. Okie dokie. Uh, when the dog appears in the house, the boys ask to keep it. Agnes suggests the name is Sparky. Oh, no, they ate himself up to stop them crying. That's it. Um, Wanda almost reveals her ability to Agnes concerning vision uh, while the boys age up another into 10 years so they can look after the puppy. Fine. So that this would have worked much better, by the way, if it was the second episode. They jet those first four episodes and cut it into a movie-length story, right? With much more emphasis on the real world than the the sitcom world. Who cares? We get you were like you wasted. You you blew it on that. You really blew it on that. Uh, I'm there out of obligation right now, and I, I'm glad I'm there, by the way, because this isn't bad. But it's not Winter Soldier. Right, it's it's just not. I'm sorry, it's not as good. I'm not as invested. Uh, it's not it's not Marvel as like. In fact, it's really telling because at the beginning you get the Marvel fanfare, which is and you have all like the Marvel characters, and you're like, I used to remember being so excited to hear that, right? So excited. Uh, and uh, Mike Henry dies. Wow. Oh my god. I thought, was, no, I think I'm thinking of a different Mike Henry. Okay, fine. Uh, oh, Junior from Smoking the Band. Wow. Oh, it is him. Just died. Oh, Brooke Dynamics. Blessed. That's what you say in uh, Judaism. Brooke Dynamics. Blessed is the uh, truthful judge, right? Everything is basically boils down to that. Um, 
so yeah i used to be really excited i'm not i don't care i'm done it was never that big a deal okay it's not star wars uh, and you killed that too so uh but that said perfectly interesting episode if it was week two week five you're like oh, who gives it crap at this point and also the side characters who are now main characters i kind of recognize kat dennings because she's hot uh I, and i think that the, i've seen the asian detective before uh not because he's hot uh but i don't know and i don't really care i it's not really made me go oh i've got to find out more about like was she like i don't care I, I like my, uh, was it Andrew Skarsgård who played like the loony guy from the Thor movies. He's a, he, he was a professor who went like totally bonkers. I like him, but other than that, and like I don't really care, you know. Like Fat Thor, who cares? Although he does, he is back to being good looking Thor in the next movie. That was such a freaking travesty that he stayed Fat Thor for the entire movie. Come on, really? He should have been like you know. <laughs> Get some lightning and become hot Thor, right? And like, and they'd be like, "Yeah, wouldn't we? That'd be cool." No, it was Fat Thor the whole movie. It's stupid, okay? Stupid. Um, you're welcome. I'm not even charging you for my services here. So look, wait, wait, wait. So uh, where were they? Uh, where was uh, while well, the boys age up to ten years, at work, Vision reads an email from Sword that reveals the situation in Westview. He manages to break through uh, to a real Westview resident and discovers that Wanda is controlling the town. Yeah, so now it's turned into a very creepy Twilight Zone episode. She's essentially Bill Mummy, right? You did a very good thing. So no, she's at the air and she's controlling their minds to make them believe they're in these sitcoms and that she's a folk character. So essentially, she's a villain at this point. Um, and again, again, week two would have you would have had the momentum if you had this. Uh, you had those first four episodes. Edited together into a like ninety minute, two hour uh, extravaganza. Ninety minute, quite frankly, you don't need the sitcom shit. Okay, you don't need. I know you enjoy it. I know it makes you feel good. I know you think it's, it's cool and met with nobody cares. Stop. It's not for you. It's not for you. That's what you idiots write writers need to know. It's not for you. You got to do it so it's part of you, right? But it's not for you. You know, start writing to an audience rather than having a de or demand an audience uh, uh, bend to you. Enough. Write to the bloody audience. Uh, and, again, it's not bad. Uh, the, this episode is not bad. Uh, I'm just not investing in the characters and you then they expect you to be. you got to remember, this is what, the second week I've ever seen them? Uh, yeah, I don't really care. I don't really care about Asian Guy or Cat Dennings, right? You know, you're like, fine, Cat Dennings is hot. Uh, okay. I like, I'm happy to see her because I like seeing hot people. But uh, <laughs> other than that, you can get a different hot person. You know, I always thought that was really, really uh, uh, terrible in the Transformer movies, how they uh, replaced Megan Fox with this other equally insanely hot woman, that that uh, dweeby guy who went crazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> used to, yeah, used to be dating, right, in the movies. Um, fine. <laughs> We're still in one division. Uh, he managed to break through uh, to a real-world resident of Desco Days in control of the town. Uh, Sword sends a drone from the 80s into Westview and attempts to kill Wanda on Hayward's orders. Yeah, apparently he's the evil white guy of it. Uh, no, she's not like the smart uh, uh, Monica Rambeau. Who's, uh, she knows everything and is right about everything. You know, huh. She's, you, you might you might disingenuous to say that's kind of Mary Mary Sue's, and I'm like, no, no, that's not her being a Mary Sue. That's just, uh, 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 um, um, yeah. Oh, Trump's back. Trump's back. Okay, good. Uh, uh, we could go on. Uh, Wonder emerges. Oh, uh, yeah. So he was Wonder emerges from the static field uh, with the drone and warns Haywood to leave her alone. Scared of the drone, uh, Sparky runs away and later dies. Um, okay. Yeah, I can't remember that. Vision confronts Wanda about her actions. Yeah, it's really weird about the dead dog thing. Okay, the dog died and they have the weird neighbor looking after it. And I don't know. Uh, Vision confronts Wanda about her actions, but they're interrupted uh, uh, when Pietro arrives. Yeah, so, uh, uh, oh, has he been recast? Uh, doesn't know that Pietro has been recast. Is that tr accurate? Hey, one second. So, who plays Pietro in this episode? Is it a different guy? 
Um, Evan Pippen portrays Pietro in the episode. Okay, so who played him beforehand? Uh, in the episode reprising. Oh, so the X Man one. Oh, well, that was kind of cool. Who cares? <laughs> it's not that big a deal, right? He was okay. He was in uh, uh, one very good X Man movie that revitalized it. Uh, then he was the best part, and he was the best part of that. He was the best part of a far uh, inferior movie. Uh, where, where is that? Here, let's see. look at the X Men series. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll look at these. Uh, yeah, okay. So was, I think he was in first. Was he in first class or Days of Future Past? No, he first saw in Days of Future Past, and he's freaking awesome, right? Uh, probably one, and that was a great movie, and he was on the. It was a great element in it. Don't think he was in. Yeah, I don't think he was in first class. Um, let's have a quick look now. Now, now I've got to see. Uh, cast or uh, yeah, no, I don't see him there. Don't see him there. Fine. So yeah, so it was in Days of Future Past, which was a good movie. Probably one of the best X Men movies. I would have. I would say, yeah, one of the most watched, one of the best X Men movies. Then Apocalypse, which is not very good, right? Not very good at all. Uh, he's the best thing in that, and apparently he's in Dark Phoenix. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, he was in. He was in Deadpool. Or, oh no, no, he wasn't in Deadpool. Um, oh, it should be easy. Why don't we just look him up here, and we'll see what movies he's been in. It's. Uh, do, 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 do. By the way, that Secret Service movie, I'm, uh, Kingsman. I'm really looking forward. When's that supposed to come out? Okay, one sec. We'll have a quick look. What's the latest uh, release date? It is currently on schedule to release in August twenty. Oh, man, I want to see that movie. That looks like a good movie. Um, okay, no, no, no. What's the names of the characters? Um, oh, okay. Jennifer Lawrence, Harry Berry, and uh, Elliot. Oh, God, Elliot, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Elliot Page. Really? Yeah, Elliot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, it's a bloke, Elliot Page. Yeah, okay. That's a bloke, everyone, Elliot Page. Don't really say it's not a bloke, because that's a bloke. Elliot Page. Uh, I, what the hell? Really? Wait, wait, wait. This, okay, where is it? Uh, what's his bloody name? Did he not even make it onto the uh, uh, the roster? Okay, well, there must be over here somewhere. Uh, is he not in this one? Yeah, he's totally in Danger Future Past. Where is it? Uh, I'm about to give up. I'm about to give up. Oh, cast. Let's just go through cast. Elliot Page. Yeah, yeah, it's a bloke here. Let's look at a picture of the bloke again. Yeah, it's a bloke, everybody. Hi, I'm a bloke, Elliot Page. Hi. Guy, thank you. Thank you, Elliot Page, who's clearly a bloke. <laughs> no question. Oh, is this a... Fine. Now we'll see what bloody moves have been. Oh. Okay, I don't want to see the comics. Move it. Move it. Film. Lee, thank you very much. Ah! So that's it? Two bloody movies? It, 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 it. Okay. No, Dark Phoenix. Does Dark Phoenix even count? Because I've never seen Dark Phoenix. So who cares? Who gives a crap? So, no, yeah. So he turns up at the end. So, anyway, who plays it in there? This is uh, played by. Yeah, we'll go back over here. Evan Peters. Let's see if he's a guy from WandaVision, right? There we go. Oh, man, this is around the bloody houses to get to something that really is not that freaking interesting. Yeah, fine. He Pietro, he's quick sort. Okay, who cares? <laughs> fine, so that, that's my review of um, uh, uh, WandaVision. Much better, though, Snowpiercer. I have to say, I do like Snowpiercer. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the first season, so you have an idea. There we go, and then 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 we'll talk about the first two episodes of, of season two, which is very good. I I have to say I am uh, thoroughly enjoying it. Right? I although I do like that I like the show in general. So yeah, there we go. Fine. Let me just um, stop that for a second. Bring back to me, right? Um, I just see this comment. The second ring from Green Rose One is uh, if preach gospel. Uh, this is no reason for uh, me to boast. 
for an uh, obligation has been imposed on me. And woe to me if not to breathe. Well, I guess so. Uh, as, oh, yeah. 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 You're right. You're right. I tell you. I, I'm glad God exists, mate. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. Um, yeah. So, Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer is uh, kind of stupid, but I do enjoy it. A uh, second season better than the first season. Um, the idea is there was, this, there was a solution to global warming, which was at least the thing into the atmosphere that's caused a, uh, a a global ice age. So it's like minus 150 out, right? The only people who basically survive is this one train called Snowpiercer that's on a, a constant loop, and it has to keep going to uh, stay uh, stay going, right? And this train is a, a very, very rigid hierarchy of the first-class people or the billionaires who bought their way on, and they hey, live in luxury. You have second class who live yeah, pretty comfortably, not, not terribly, you know, they, they modestly. Uh, and then you have third class who are on for free, but they work, they, they do all the services, and they live in you know, relative squalor, right? They live in much, much closer quarters. Um, and then after that, you have the tailies, people who just jumped on the train as it was their only, only means of survival, and they're caught in the tail. Uh, and they're and they they're like freezing back there. They don't have any resources, and they they they've been given these um, uh, these protein gel bars. Uh, they make them to uh, that they 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 live off. They're just disgusting. I think they're made out in the movie version. They're made out of like uh, bugs or something. Yeah, that's where the protein comes from. Um, uh, so that's it. So. Uh, the first season, you it, it, it was, again interesting. It had that bloke from Lost, who the bloke from Lost, who also who was appeared in. He was the head of the others. He's always got. He's always very good at being dodgy, but kind of like, eh, hi, I'm a crazy man. Eh, okay, it's kind of that look. Yeah, I think we're going to look him up now. One second. <laughs> What's his name? Um, do, 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 just, uh, he was reasonably far down. What was his? I recognize the name if I saw it. Uh, no, 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 no. That's right. No, 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 no. Ah, I'm not going to pick it out. Damn. One second. I'm just going to type lost head of others. Let's see if it comes up. Lost leader of the others. Let's say, what's his name again? Benjamin Linus, played by Michael Emerson. Right, Michael Emerson. So he's always got this like kind of like sweaty visage, right? That's basically it. Uh, uh, he, like he's one of the upper class people. So anyway, it's all right. The train is run uh, owned by Mister Willard, who you don't see. Mister Wilfred, I say you don't see. Who there's this like fanatical devotion to, and it's being run by uh, guest services. Uh, the guest services being is uh, Melanie Campbell. Who is this very, very played by uh, what's her name? Oh, Jennifer Connolly, who is fantastic actress, absolutely beautiful. I think she's an Oscar winner. Um, really fantastic layered performance, right? Really, like, re it's on Netflix. I really enjoy it. Again, the basic premise is a bit dumb, but, but it's no more dumb than Star Trek, in my estimation. Um, so yeah, you, uh, well, they have to, so you have. It's read, read by guest services. Her second is Ruth, who's like this northern woman. Uh, yeah, like, oh, oh. Uh, and then so there's a murder that happens, which is un unheard. And there's a detective in one of the tailings, uh, played by David Diggs, who's a main, who's a, like a kind of a major character, who is a major character. Trouble is, he's not in the same caliber as actor as uh, Jennifer Connolly. Yeah, Jennifer Connolly is just going to, Ax him off the screen. And now you've got Sean Bean as well. I mean, like, just, and he's not bad, but he's basically meant, he was, he'll fit into a, a, a cop show. Fine, right? You know, he's, he's like, he's, uh, it's a character you've seen many times before. It does, it's not a very layered performance, right? You know, it's a very surface performance. Um, you don't get a feeling there's more going on behind his eyes. Uh, where, where you do, you, you get a three-dimensional feeling from Jennifer Connelly and Sean Bean. Uh, so that's the show's biggest weakness in, in, in my mind. 
So anyway, so you, it's a, he, there's, he's brought in to investigate this murder, which brings you into all this intrigue going on, this po political intrigue. So essentially, it, it, I'm spoiling it for you, but you, you've got to know this going in. It's, it's pretty spoiled already. This leads to a uh, revolution, right? A revolution uh, between the classes, right? And, and uh, uh, it's, it, it played out well, right? You see how, how they move into play. And you know that's the story of the of the season, right? And they, and they, they also if they they know they're very probably dealing with um, the end of civil the end of humanity if they die. But this is they're in a very corrupt feudal system. So they they reach this a uh, a, a detente, an interesting detente um, uh, uh, at the end of the season. So I'm going to spoil one thing from early on in the season, uh, I, I, and I'm sorry if you've been. It's pretty out there now. Um, that uh, uh, this guy, Mr. Wilfred, in it doesn't exist. Like, apparently, it, uh, Melon has been running everything. You find this out pretty early on. Uh, and uh, um, it's, been, it's been hiding that from the train, pretending it, it wonderfully pretending it exists. So, the season ends. There's another train shows up, right? Another train, big Mirtha or Bertha or so. I can't remember, shows up and ha claps itself on. To uh, Snowpiercer, right? And she realized, and he, he, they bought the trade at Sean Bean, and he's Mr. Wilford. And this changes everything, and it really does. There's, there's, there's a whole new, like, egalitarian system been adopted by the trade. And suddenly, the architect of this, their, you know, their real feudal system is there, right? So that's where that's where the first season ends you, uh, sends you, and so that's where the second season starts off. Um, a plot thread, by the way, a, a real great cliffhanger was, um, and I'm spoiling another thing, I apologize. Uh, a real great cliffhanger is the, uh, uh, um, throughout the season, yeah, Melanie, uh, Jennifer Connor's character is, is motivated, uh, very much by the loss of her daughter, right? That's a, that kind of defined who she was to a great extent. That everybody lost people when you know when the when the world ended essentially. Uh, so when when Sean Bean shows up, he also has with her his daughter, uh, her daughter, uh, where she's like, how? And that, so that's a re again real de destabilizing stuff. Really interesting. Um, I recommend it. I really recommend it. It's very entertaining as well, right? Um, so anyway, so we're on to season two. Let's go to season two, and we'll read the synopsis. Melody manages to cut Wolfer's uplink to Snowpiercer's system. Uh, yeah, because he latched onto it and basically controlled the train uh, system and discovers that it's uh, snowing outside, despite the temperature being too cold for uh, for it. Yeah, all those things with her outside are very good. Snowpiercer, uh, Snowpiercer is now uh, on the move. Uh, I, uh, yeah, no, Snowpiercer, Snowpiercer now too low on power to move on its own uh, ever again. It's being Forced to turn over a list of supplies to Wilfred before the uh, before it, uh, he starts to the train's moving again. Yeah, basically he said, "Give me all this stuff, uh, and it's less like food and things like that. Otherwise, yeah, we're all gonna die." <laughs> That's basically where he was. Uh, oh, you'll die first, and then we'll get moving. Um, moving again, and Leighton uh, works to uh, works to maintain order. Uh, Leighton's David Diggs. He's the yeah, he's the guy who's not Jennifer Connelly. Uh, maintain order aboard uh, by reluctantly declaring martial law while Menley is captured and reunited with Wilfred and Alexander, her daughter. Uh, Wilfred demands... Uh, now, Wilfred is, again, real interesting character. There's a lot of him walking around naked, getting into bars, smoking weed. Yeah, they, that's one of the biggest plot points. They start like an illicit trade uh, because uh, they have weed on uh, on uh, Wilfred's train and they don't on Snow Snowpiercer. Uh, so they're like, hey, man, do you want a mango for some weed? I mean, yes, sounds good. Um, where was I? Uh, Wolf of the Mars, that Melanie surrenders Snow Visit, but she refuses to cooperate. Leighton leads an invasion of Big Alice, uh, that is repelled. Yeah, they get, they have, uh, um, uh, this guy comes out who's like massive and he, he can withstand the cold. They, they, they clearly have superior technology on, what was it, Big Alice, the, the uh, Wolf's train. Uh, so they have this like incredibly strong, muscly guy who's like, but he also he he like opens the door or he opens the valve so 
air from an side comes in and they can't stay there and he can survive in it. Um, so that's a game changer, right? Uh, but they do take out a bunch of their people. Uh, but they managed to capture a cop uh, uh, hostage, Kevin, uh, who claims that Wilfred ca uh, Cameron start everything, uh, uh, everything, even if everybody dies in the process. Okay. Uh, Wilfred decides to disconnect from uh, uh, Snowpiercer and let the passengers die with uh, Alex complying after a moment, uh, after a moment of hesitation. However, yeah, this is it. Many have planted a bomb connecting the mechanism, destroying them and permanently uh, linking Snowpiercer to Big Alice uh, to the uh, uh, ad admiration of, of uh, Alex, the daughter. Wilfred is forced to start the trains moving again. So that's basically where we are at the, the end of episode one. Um, what was going to say? Uh, Sean Bean's freaking awesome. Right? Sean Bean is absolutely awesome in it, right? I... Uh, um, it, it's a really good performance. It, it, it gets stronger in episode two. Uh, let's, let's, let's go straight over there. Let's share the screen. Share, share screen. Let's go. Uh, Chrome tab. Snowpiercer. I think in America you have it on TNT, right? I think you can find it there, probably on Hulu. So episode two, uh, Smolder to Life. So you got yeah, you got the whole thing of like the is the world coming back to life, which is a big deal, right? Obviously they won't be trapped on snow pier, so they don't know how long it's going to take. But the the fact that it's snowing is a big deal, and they kind of like um, preview that's going to be a big deal going through season two. There you go. So I honestly, you, this is made at such a, so much of a lower budget than uh, One Division, and it's so much better. It's just so much better. Uh, I, I have no idea who's who's the showrunner of this, but I, I really enjoy the show. I enjoy the world they made, which is, I, I, to me, it was a three-dimensional world. Uh, okay, so Laser and Roche uh, learn from Kevin that they are around 100 people on Big Alice. That sounds about one second. About 100 people on Big Alice. And there is a food shortage uh, on the train. Wilfred uh, later trades uh, mentally for Kevin, but he uh, compels. Oh yeah, so this is really heavy, right? They want it to get information out of Kevin. Uh, they sit him down and they bring in a plate of buffalo wings. He's like, I haven't seen buffalo wings in years. By the way, I, a neighbor of mine had the thing. They made uh, buffalo wings for a Super Bowl, uh, and so but we got them on Thursday because all our boys were home. Uh, I, I has a freaking awesome. I did. Uh, uh, um, they were a bit spicy, right? So I did uh, have some kind of. Uh, botty reaction. I'll just say that to them. It, uh, there was a commotion going on in my underpants. So anyway, they give him these buffalo wings. He's like, nah, nah, nah. Uh, and he's like, <laughs> he's very much into them. Uh, uh, and uh, um, so then when he comes back to to Big Alice, they they run a bath for him. He says, "Here, no, it's for you. You get in the bath." He takes all his clothes off and gets in the bath. I'm like, "Well, oh, this is weird." This is just strange. You know, I like, this is something I would normally would do privately, but no, apparently this is all. Then Sean Bean takes his clothes off and gets in with him. I'm like, ah, this is even weirder. This is even weirder. Uh, and so, but he compels them to commit suicide because he let them know they're hungry, which gave, which gave them, gives them power over them. So he's like, taught this guy to commit, and he does. He slits his wrist. I was like, what? And it's very, it's a great scene. I mean, whoa, it's a really heavy scene. But uh, um, <laughs> it's very well done as well. But it's very, very yeah. So it's, uh, again, I, I, this this shows a recommend for me. <laughs> I have a strange sense. I have not sense you. I have a strange. I have a strange day. Uh, so what's going on? So where did they get up to? Comes uh, and suicide after revealing secrets. Revealing secrets. Lights is attacked, but and two of her fingers is amputated. Prompting Leighton to promote uh, promote Till to train detective. Yeah, she was like a beat cop in season one, uh, lesbian, obviously, because you know there's no straight people in the future. Um, yeah, Till eventually realized that fingers have been amputated to uh, match Wilford three finger salute. So that's going on with that. He does this like you know, I can't remember. Is it this? This sort of oh, this, yeah, it does this. I think, right, yeah, it does this, and it's like a big. I don't know. People are like, oh, and it's looking back at him. It's obviously go going to be uh, 
um, something, right? It's always going to be something. Everything was loose. Many reveals that she believes that CW7, the compound that froze the Earth, is breaking up in the atmosphere, resulting in the planet starting to warm up again. Snow, so, uh, so Snowpiercer uh, launches a probe into the upper atmosphere to confirm the theory. Leighton and Melanie um, hold a scientific summit in first class with Wilfred. Yeah, again, they got like far, in, uh, far improved uh, science. They, they just like Melanie gets a uh, um, frostbite by in the first episode. Like, so it's like you know, stabbed in the shoulder, and they put this gloop on it, and it like heals it within twenty four hours. Um, again, I just find the 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 differing societies they built and they've evolved into uh, really interesting, right? It's really I I like it. I like the frozen wasteland. Yeah, you know, I, I like the the back that as a backdrop. Um, uh, uh, Leighton uh, and Melanie hold a scientific forum in first class with Wilford, where uh, yes, Alex making a aborted assassination attempt. He's going to make have, have a make an assassination tape, attempt on Leighton, but he eventually tells her no. She crushes the blade in her hand. <laughs> like, okay, it's a bit weird. Uh, there we go. And then uh, Melanie proposes a plan that Wilfred accepts uh, to exploit uh, to exploit planetary warming to find a warm place enough to, a place warm enough to uh, recolonize. Uh, but the mission requires spending a month at a research station alone. Disappointing Alex. While uh, helping out in the third class clinic, Zara discovers that Josie is actually still alive, albeit severely frostbitten in a uh, frostbitten state, and listed as a Jane Doe. After contemplating killing Josie, I can't remember this whole plot point. In order to protect her second chance, uh, Zara informs Leighton, uh, who rushes Josie's side, and she's regained consciousness. I, 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 I yeah, I remember as they go along. Uh, in the end, uh, the uh, in the end, even the title card uh, just says, uh, yeah, tells you, it tells you don't super don't kill yourself. Okay, that's really important. Uh, that's something that we we echo here. Yeah, that's something we do indeed echo here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at uh, what else is on the what's on the thumbnail. Let's go see the thumbnail. And then we'll know what I need to talk about because I don't remember. Uh, Buffalo Star Chicken Wings. Yes, uh, they are they are the best. Um, let's see if anybody's talking to me in the chat. Do, 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 do. I probably, unfortunately, I'm looking through a streamer. Yes, I, I listen. Listen, you got to be prepared. For poopy talk anytime, uh, Osborne Biscuits, okay? It happens anytime on this channel. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Sean Bean for the do Sean Bean for Doctor. You know, if they actually did a Doctor Who movie, Sean Bean should be the first Doctor, and then he regenerates at the beginning, at the, at the, at the opening scene, right? And the opening has, like, a pre-title sequence and uh, regenerates. Uh, it'll be a fun way of starting it. Hey, it's going to make it. And all you beautiful people. How do you? Yeah, well, we're all beautiful people. Um, going back to do, 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 do. I think we're all cool, baby. I think we're all cool. There we go. In the country, Trump receives uh 12,000 votes. Goodbye. Then. I guess I know. Uh, it doesn't matter. Truth and reality doesn't mean anything to these people. AOC believes everything she said, right? You know, she had a bunch of like demonstrably false nonsense. Uh, I hid in the bathroom there and get the bed. Yeah, no, no, that never happened. That never happened. You weren't there. You're lying. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Truth, truth is written by the victors. And, um, well, you yeah, know, again, they are, it, it, this has a lot of, it, it, uh, I can't remember if I said it. No, I didn't, well, I didn't say it on, on this stream. I said it on the review I made. That I've, reviewed, I've recorded three times now. It it deals with the Scarlet Pimpernel, right? And it and it so it's got the Reign of Terror, which is a good story, much better story than this. Um, uh, it deals with uh, Reign of Terror, but also more broadly, it deals with like uh, retribution and crime and forgiveness, right? And that's really and uh, but there's a real si similarities as I said, to uh, 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 the Reign of Terror <laughs> happening in America right now. There really is. Right, let's have a look at this uh, da, 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 thumbnail. Twitter winners, Amal River Song and Jenny. Oh, yeah, we got to look there. Uh, okay, we don't want division and shut the reviews. Mainstream media. Oh, yes, we've got to see his uh, Entertainment Weekly uh, 
uh, review of uh, Clarissa. Oh, boy. Did he get his ass handed to him? Oh, what? Oh, man, that freaking crazy. You know what? We should also have a look at, uh, uh, what's his name? He died. Uh, Christopher Plummer. Have a quick, let's look at Christopher Plummer first. Let's go to his uh, IMDb. Oh, we'll pick out the best. Best of Christopher Palmer Plummer. IMDb. Uh, ba -ba -da -da. Oh, Count America 2 should be out soon, isn't it? Chris. Uh, for... No, Plumber. Plum. Finally. Okay, we show you the screen. Let's share the screen. Bring it down. A bit of sixes music. Then go up. Down. Okay, so. If you look at known for, let's go as form film by uh, filmography actor. Uh, okay, uh, no, thumbs knives out. You poor smart. Should have done that. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't know any of these. This is all like, oh, yeah, I just still work. I'm still working, everyone. Yeah, I'm still working. I'll do. Yeah, yeah okay. Grandkids want a new pool. Okay. He was in Up, really? He was in Up? Oh, Charles Mintz. Yeah, little bad guy in Up. Okay. Oh, okay. Is there anything? Oh, Inside Man. He's good in that. Oh, man. Inside Man. Freaking awesome movie. Uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, Spike Lee, when he's not, like, driven by insane racism. Um, really, uh, really good crime thriller. Strong recommend. And he's, uh, Chris Plummer is excellent in it. Uh, do, 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 Alexander. The Visual Bible. The Gospel of John. On Golden Pond. There was a TV version of it? Blimey. Uh, Star Klingon Academy. Yeah, so this must be around Star Trek time. Uh, yeah, listen, it was good in Undiscovered Country, wasn't it? Yeah. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. I can't work with Dracula 2000. That was not very good. Um, yeah, God, a lot of his career is just like, you know, I've got to work. <laughs> Bait in Toyland. I kind of remember him from that. Uh, Bitch of Madeline. I don't know. He'll, oh, 12 Monkeys. Yeah, okay. So he's good in everything he like turns up in. But like, wow, is in a lot of crap? Two is in a lot of crap. Um, good for him. <laughs> wow, I'm kind of surprised. Undiscovered Country was 1991. I thought it was midnight. I guess it must be 91. That makes sense. Um, all right, fine. Let's see, let's see what they said he's known for. Now, now I'm intrigued. The inside, uh, um, really? I don't think he's known for those. I, I won't go. Oh, Chris, Chris Plummer, I think Star Trek, right. First thing I think of. Um, okay, well, guess that's our retrospective of Chris and Plummer. Not bad. <laughs> Fine, let's go to a bit of screen rant action. Who, who can't? Who can't resist a bit of screen rant? Uh, One Division episode five ending explained what spoiler means for MCU. I will see why they're excited. Quite frankly, I don't really care. The end of WandaVision, fifth episode, Wonder Woman's adult was shot by an extremely surprising cameo and a big deal for MCU Phase 4. Like, it's, I think she said it's as big a deal as Luke Skywalker turning up in Mandalorian. You clearly don't know what Luke Skywalker turning up in the Mandalorian means it, right? Are you out of your bloody mind? Like, no, 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 no. Don't get excited. Even if all the X-Men turned up, don't get excited. Uh, episode 5 Marvel's uh, WandaVision ended with the Major camera carries some big implications for the future of the MCU. Right at the uh, vision was commanding uh, wonder about uh, what she's done to him in the town of Westview. Some of uh, someone rang a doorbell, answering the door. Wonder is it, open the door and see the brother Pietro. Otherwise, there's a quicksilver. Uh, however, not only is the shot because Pietro Maximo is supposed to be dead, but uh, Pietro won't uh, recognize, uh, but this is not the Pietro. Wanda uh, recognizes it's the same actor as the Avengers Age of Ultron, 
It's not the same actor as Avengers Age of Ultron. Instead, it's Aaron Taylor Johnson, Quicksilver from the far more successful. Um, uh, instead of uh, it's one of it is it's uh, Evan Peters uh, is standing in the door as Pietro acting like uh, uh, everything should be normal, having shown up to surprise his sister after uh, being gone for some time. And then they say, ah, I guess he's been recast. And it's like, you're expecting us to know and care. For God's sake, we don't. We don't. You, you blew it. Yeah, you want to be Captain Marvel? You wanted to be the bestest ever? Yeah, I, I okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fair enough, you know. It's uh, But, like, I don't care anymore. Right, you wanted to have your femme falls and butt butt moment in the movie, which is makes it makes it unwashable. I mean, other than the awful special effects and fat for yeah, basically made it unwashable. That scene is the cringe of the cringe of the cringe. Right, I don't. And then you wait a couple of years and you go, oh, remember, you're all excited about. We don't care. Even when we cared, we forgot. None of this bloody matters. You're acting like that. Again, you're acting like it's Robert Downey Jr. Nobody remembers who you are. Um, well, this may be confusing for some. Even so, Darcy Lewis is accused as Wanda is recast, uh, recast her brother. Uh, the other explanation is more significant. Evan Peters is playing a new Pietro because he played Quicksilver in Foxes. This uh, uh, um, is because he played uh, Quicksilver in Foxes X-Men films. The separate universe. He's uh, a breakdown and explanation of both versions of Quicksilver. Okay, who cares? Oh, piss off. Pain in the asses. Let's look at this Dr. Uardagon. I promise you, Dr. Uardagon. I look at the bloody Dr. Uardagon. Uh, yeah, we know. You want Oli Alexander. I've got to watch It's a Sin. Hello. It's a Sin. All 12 clues that led to us. Yeah, we know. They're in each episode. Fine. God, Let's see what Ethan uh, Sleitzenjerger wants to say. Uh, Doctor Who season 13, he's bring back with the song because of Whitaker. I think replacement. I can't look how convincing they are in this picture of the two of them. You believe one, this one's dull as dishwater. I, I, I don't know, I just don't understand. Bring a river song back for uh, Doctor Who season 13 would offer a potential for a fascinating new uh, dynamic with Jodie Whittaker. Okay, listen, I hate to tell you, I've worked it out for you. Uh, I'll go back to my thumbnail, right? We go, we go over here. Oh, wow. What's that? That was weird. I go over here, share screen. Uh, oh, my daughter's having a meltdown upstairs. Oh, my God. Okay. Is a drawback of, of be, being religious, right? One of the drawbacks of being religious. Um, how old is she? We got married in 96, so she was born in 97, which means she's, what, 24 years old. Um, in Orthodox Judaism, people, generally speaking, uh, uh, only only have relations with their their uh, uh, their spouse, right? That's really... And, and, uh, until then, uh, it depends. It tends on, yeah, it's, it's more of a spectrum of uh, religiosity, right? Uh, it's more, but, uh, uh, you know, you most, uh, there's a large section of the, of the world that doesn't get, uh, doesn't have any contact, any physical contact between the, between the genders uh, until they, until they touch their, there, it's more than celibacy. Uh, until they touch their, their husband or wife, and that just makes it and that makes the intimacy, I think, uh, uh, a lot stronger. The drawback is uh, when you're pushing 24 and uh, uh, you find yourself, you might have a little bit, uh, uh, um, a little bit uh, tension, a little bit of tension building up there. Uh, 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 if you if you if you don't get married, sharpish for the love of God, get married for the love of God, get married. We all need to relax. We all need to relax. It's time. Find someone. Okay? I don't care how long it lasts. I just think you need a bit of release. I think that's what I think you need. Um, anyway, back to the thumbnail. <laughs> back to the thumbnail. Uh, uh, we see Jodie Widow, of course, with the uh, uh, much more convincing and wonderful, uh, uh, what's her name, from EastEnders, 
uh, where there's all, E, it's me ex. And so this is the relationship. This is how you will play. E, it's me ex, and she's looking better than me. Uh, that makes me feel a bit socially awkward. Don't you see that ever so playing out? That's exactly how the ever. I feel a bit socially awkward. Aye, that's very Doctor Who of me, isn't it? Very Doctor Who he feel so bloody awkward. That's the worst moment I talk to him. So anyway, let's uh, bring them back together again because uh, that makes sense. Okay, the screaming stopped from upstairs. That's good. I think somebody's taken blood. That's good. That's good. I mean, I, uh, hope, hopefully, we're... this is why we're letting this thing leak so people can do the bloody laundry. I tell you, it's good to have a relationship with God, but he does kick you in the balls if you step out of line. Um, well, River Song exit in Doctor Who uh, 2015 special perfectly closed her, her arc. It actually did. Might, might have any move for rewatching that. Uh, it would be a uh, missed opportunity for her not to make an appearance when the uh, Doctor Who season 13. I uh, know. Other than Chris Rex and Jodie Whittaker, is the only Doctor of the modern era who never managed to interact with River. Okay. So, wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. Of the, okay, so we, uh, we're not going to count, uh, what's the name, uh, 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 um, the War Doctor. Yeah, does that come on? I mean, yeah, I believe him to be a doctor, but it's sort of interacting with like a, a serving doctor. So yeah, Christopher Eccleston, you had uh, uh, um, David Tennant, yeah, Matt Smith, you had Peter Capaldi, and they go, so, okay, so you 40% of you. It's not It's not like a terrible number, right? It's like, oh, no. Only f yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, and I do think they're going to do a River Song, uh, Christopher Eccleston crossover on Big Finish. I think it's, I certainly think it's going to happen. Um, and they do it as Doctor Who, not as River Song, then. Do, 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 uh, modern era, as they were with River. Not only would it be interesting to see how the show navigates the Doctor's change agenda, uh, but River's presence would infuse uh, much needed energy into Chris Chibble's new take of the show. Oh, so she's basically saying, we got to add River Song in because it's shit, right? And if we add good characters in, uh, uh, it'll stop being shit. But we can't let... let how long does this article say this? We can't let Chris Chibnall carry on just being shit. Okay. So, uh, listen, you could have wrote this in a way we could have all agreed. Um, Doctor Who fans, last saw River Song, the husband of River Song, an episode which ends with the Doctor spending one uh, last night together. Luckily, the uh, Doctor takes River to the singing towers of uh, Delirium, where one night after he kills 24 years. In doing so, the Doctor fills Whip River's prophecy from way back in the Forest of Dead. Uh, even gifting her a sonic screwdriver. Uh, the, uh, the episode is a perfect bit of sweet end to uh, River Song story, uh, finally closing a seven year arc, which would make sense. Uh, uh, and it, while it wouldn't make sense to order the end of this beautiful, uh, beautiful arc it, uh, and bring a, uh, a postillion river to the 13th uh, Doctor, uh, could meet an early version. Yeah, fair enough. But, like, really? I mean, like, I don't know. She's so, so much better than Jodie Whittaker. They can't have them on screen together. She, Alex Kingston, she'll destroy Jodie. She, she, look, look at this one. She went toe to toe with Capaldi, right? Sort of. She, she, what you get? No, like, like, she'll just eviscerate Jodie Whittaker. Um, since River Song's romantic relationship with the Doctor uh, only took place when the Doctor was a man, watching her meet her first female Doctor will be entertaining. I don't really care. I'm not really obsessed by gender. I'm not really obsessed by asserting if somebody's gay or not. It doesn't bother me. God's sake. It shouldn't be the be-all and end-all of everything for you. Right? Enough. To say the least. Who cares? Like, look, listen, if you think it's interesting she might be bisexual, watch porn. Okay? I think they have a lot of those people there. Right? That's what I would recommend. Uh, um... The Doctor Who's writers uh, could take their relationship in many different directions, leading to an episode which would be uh, hilarious, dramatic, poignant, and uh, a combination of the, yeah, oh God, uh, yeah. If we don't put Jodie Whittaker in, it'd be fine, uh, and have somebody else write it, right, and have it nothing to do with this whatsoever. Having Thirteenth Doctor and River continue their romantic relationship uh, would be a bold, progressive move for Doctor Who. 
Oh, yeah, of course. But uh, yeah, listen, I think she's supposed to be scissoring ass, isn't she? Like, look, I, look, I think there's one uh, one tongue up Doctor Who's vagina at a time. I think that's really, I think that's really the what rule. One tongue. She's got a one tongue snatch. You know, it's a it's a, uh, uh, it's a Chinese uh, ailment. One tongue snatch. Uh, I'll have some one tongue snatch, please. Uh, how many? How many do you want? I want five pieces. Five pieces of one tongue snatch. Um, fine. Uh, well, previously, I think it always seemed uh, to be 10 steps ahead of everyone else on screen. Jody, it's a 30 slower, more, more humor. The idiot doctor. Oh my god. I like really. And this is a friendly publication. And this is a friendly publication. Oh, the, I'm so glad we're reading this. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, if I don't, I would have made a video on this. This is hilarious. On the other hand, um, majority of Rivers' run uh, uh, was alongside Matt Smith and Evers Doctor, and a character whom the 13th is often compared. Not favorably, really. This might mean that the, do uh, the Doctor and Rivers' chemistry would, uh, would hardly change at all and feel uh, familiar to audiences. Okie dokie. Fine. Who cares? Uh, if the it would it wouldn't feel the same. Oh God! Firstly, Matt Smith can act. I'm sorry to be the one to point it out. Matt Smith can act. You know. <laughs> I want to tell you. You know how Matt Smith can act. How we know that? Because when he goes from project to project, you follow him. I want to see things because he's in it. I watch The Crown because he's in it. That's why he got paid more. Then what's the name? The star of it, because he's the reason I watched it. He's the reason, yeah. That everyone watched it. Who can, like, get, I, 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 Jodie Whittaker's goal for? I, I, I mean, Jodie Whittaker now is like the albatross around the entertainment industry's neck. That they can't say that how crap she is. Like that's why they're putting her in. What is it? Uh, Death in Paradise. Because they can't admit, like, yeah, she's awful. <laughs> I mean, really, oh yeah, no, she's terrible. Um, uh, if the Doctor were reintroduced River songs, he might choose not to focus on Doctor's River romantic later. Do instead, uh, River's presence alone might bring back energy uh, that recent series of Doctor has been lacking. Oh my God, River! Uh, wow, the blood is in the water, mate. The blood is in the water. Uh, River song elevated uh, almost every episode that she was in. Okay, so go get a big finish. Got eight box sets. So there's seven or eight box sets. Uh, with hardly a dull moment, I'm going blah, 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 blah. One of the biggest issues of Doctor Who season 11, 12 on the other hand. Oh, that is dull, underdeveloped character and star and story arcs. Bring it. Okay, we know it's shit. I, geez, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Is there anything I, think I give a damn about? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, let's go and look at them uh, 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 eviscerating uh, uh, Alex Kurtzman now. Right, I think yeah. Let's let's find find that review. Ew.com, I believe. Um, <laughs> we'll just search Alex Kurtzman, I guess. Well, let's see what's on. I haven't actually looked at Ew for ages. Uh, who cares? Who cares? They're like, oh, got to get black people awards, right? Got it. We got to get black people awards. It's super important. Otherwise, otherwise, I'll know we're racist. Here's the truth. We know you're racist, mate. We know you're racist. Alex Kurtz Moon Doink. Bum, 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 bum. Indestructible Captain Scarlet. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, I'm going to see three articles. I'll blow out. How, 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 how can we arrange them by, like, um, how do we? How, oh, I guess we'd look at is it Clarice? Uh, but look at all these failed things I've seen next to them. It's incredible. Wow. Uh, let's try Clarice. One second. Here, here. I know. First, we'll do Alex Kurtzman. Clarice. There you go. There. Thank you. We'll do a. That's a pretty nice. There you go. We'll put that in the surf. Bit of Claris action. Claris. It's because it's supposed to be awful. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, there we go. 
Clarice doesn't have any brains worth chewing. <laughs> That's a pretty bad. The silent of that has become another bland procedural drama. Uh, Clarice embarrasses herself right away. Uh, the Silence of the Lambs sequel premiering. Uh, now, do you think this, he's got a real grudge against uh, um, far, far, far more talented creator? What's his name again? Um, did Six Feet Under, not Six Feet, did uh, Pushing Daisies. Oh, what's he called again? He did, he did most of Star Trek Discovery. That was good, which isn't much. Um, oh, pushing daisies, isn't it? Pushing daisies, daisies. I'm sure I will come up with something straight away. I'm sure Brian Fuller, right? Do you think this is just a dig at Brian Fuller because he did the uh, uh, Hannibal series, which is very good, by the way? By the way, yeah, I'm totally, I think we're going to do a, a weekly Babylon 5 episode review, right? Um, and just go through it from the beginning. Um, Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do it short, but I'll say it's so 90s. So, uh, but maybe I should do the same thing with uh, um, uh, Hannibal, which is a good damn series. Now, nah, I should do season by season reviews of that because they are they're like, they're like 12 episode seasons, they're pretty tight stories. And it, it's a uh, it's not the um, completely serialized drama that you have today, but it's uh, uh in the book. In that sort of vein, in that direction, and it's uh, it's 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 network TV, so it's like on the edge. It's not like too whatever. It's not too graphic, but it's very it, it's very cleverly scary. And uh, Mads Mikkelsen as as Hannibal Lecter, freaking awesome, right? Absolutely awesome. So uh, yeah, so he he allegedly knifed uh, Brian Fuller in the back for uh, uh, Star Trek uh, after he developed. A lot of discovery again. All the good ideas from Discovery has to be Brian Fuller. The design based on Star Trek Phase Two design has to be Brian Fuller. I'm sure the uniforms uh, were really supposed to be the uniforms from uh, for Enterprise at the end of season. Uh, uh, you, you, they they bought in for season two, right? I'm sure that was the case. I guess yeah. That that I could even imagine that being the the battleground where they finally ousted him, right? Uh, anyway, so yeah, he, he did uh, Hannibal, which is interesting, interesting show. Um, I uh, yeah, I've taught, and now I'm taught myself to rewatching that as well. So now he's doing his own take on that. So uh, embarrassing right away. The Silence of the Lambs sequel, uh, premiering February 11th at uh, 10 p.m. on CBS, uh, begins with Cla Clarice starring Rebecca Br uh, Breeds uh, in a therapy session, which doubles down as a previously on uh, sequence. It's one. It's one year since the FBI rookie. Hunted down, skin suited, maniac, Buffalo Bill. Fine. Now I just remember enough of the end of uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs to know what they're talking about. It's got the, the night vision. He's put the hands in front of the face. It's the, uh, uh, it's what's the name, isn't it? Um, John Malkovich, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I, for me, that's really one of the weakest versions of Hannibal Lecter. I, I, I liked him. Uh, I like the Brian Cox version a lot, Man, Man Hunter. Uh, but I, Matt Mickelson, freaking awesome. I absolutely love his take on it. Um, uh, so it's a year later. Uh, their showdown provided some fierce, uh, uh, provided some fearsome climax uh, in 1991's uh, Lambs movie with director Jonathan Lem staging the dark and jewel inside Bill's hellish uh, uh, man cave. Yeah. Uh, Clary substitutes with quick cut flashbacks uh, that look like bad cosplay. It's like it's a clip wheel of. of uh, Fan service trauma. Goodbye, horses. Hello, Reborn. Uh, okay. Uh, it, starting from 1986's Red Dragon, uh, Thomas's uh, blood opera of the mind uh, literature has been splendid cinema. Uh, uh, cash and sequel, uh, sequel prequels. Uh, Camp in it. Yeah, I think it's a fair, it's a fair estimation. And a couple of projects representing uh, all the above. Clarice marks the first time uh, this canon has been boring. Yeah. I hear that the premier uh, finds Starling buried in behavioral sciences lab and struggling through emotional toil uh, left by Buffalo Bill. Her self-imposed isolation uh, ends when Attorney General uh, calls. Yes, uh, Ruth Martin, Jane. Yes, Ruth Martin, Jane Atkinson, whose daughter was nearly Buffalo Bill's uh, last victim, is now the fake Janet Reno. Or oh, Clarice's 90s. Oh, God, this sounds awful. Uh, this is so Kurtzman, though, right? This is Kurtzman storytelling. 
right? So so she's survived, and now, oh, so sisters helping each other. Uh, the AG starts uh, uh, starting to join the violent crimes apprehension unit. Uh, like, and okay, so basically, she says, "Here's the premise of the show," and uh, uh, you know, <laughs> that, that's exactly like, like, oh my god, it sounds so bad. Uh, what did I, am I gonna? I'm not watching this. There's no way I'm watching this. Uh, in, in real life, ICAP is the FBI's uh, data collection program. A long-standing initiative of dubious benefits law enforcement. He just heard the name. That's all. Violent crimes that you know. VCAP, ACU. Okay, that's good. That's all he heard. He's a moron. Uh, he introduces his men with uh, one, and I bet he ripped that out for somebody else who who wrote it. Uh, one trait apiece. Yeah, oh God, so Star Trek. One trait apiece. So Star Trek Discovery, right? Uh, Escoville's our army sniper guy. Uh, trippy uh, uh, to rip at these uh, library. Whoa, where'd it go there? Um, wow, it just would jump. Well, yeah, trip these our library. Uh, Clark's our lie detector. God, this is how such crap. Uh, that's all the character development. Uh, we just met. Uh, we just met them, and we're already examining brutalized, uh, brutalized as women stabbed and bitten. Uh, and naked uh, private parts, daintily covered by fallen. Yeah, come on, come on. Uh, you know what? For, what's True Detective season one instead? That's freaking good. This is garbage. I, I got to watch. I got HBO Max now. I, must, I got to watch True Detective season three. Season two was diabolical, but I got too much to watch. I got to. It's a thin. It's um, got to finish Copper Kai. Also got to watch a uh, bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff. Uh, I should really start. It's a sin tonight. I don't know. I don't know. Fine. So, uh, yeah, they said shit. <laughs> How long does it go on for? Uh, uh, I don't know. I got me excited. Oh, get out of town. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, my God. No one should waste this much effort on how bad this is. It looks freaking awful. Right, let me have a look at the chat. Uh, talk about curse phenomenon. Yeah, Blue Bonnet, you got that right away. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Um, True Detective is an amazing show, but the first season is... A, I love that first season. Love it. Freaking awesome. Um, you know, it, I, oh, man. That deserves a re But there's a lot of good TV that deserves a rewatch. Um, I like Fargo. Fargo's really good, right? Far, uh, Fargo's great. Uh, I never bought Babylon 5 on DVD because the picture ratio and the scan nonsense. I've uh, watched it on uh, video clips several times instead. Uh, uh, listen, I'll show, I'll show you my, my file of it. Uh, so make sure it's not copyrighted, but you can, I'll show you like two second burst of it, I guess. One second, if I go over here. Uh, yeah, so I think it's in this folder. Babylon 5. Babylon 5, there we go. So God, let's just let's start. Yeah, it's got to open up this thing. But it's cool. It lets me share. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe not this one. One second. Do a false quit. Let's try a new thing that they, they have here, which is uh, uh, you can share a video file, right? See what goes on there. Anyway, i got to be able to look in. Okay. Oh, wait. This is opening up still. Stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Quit. There you go. So I go over here. If I click over here. No, I'm in the wrong thing. I go over here. Any second now. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, not there. Here. Fine. Over here. Hey, well, let me share any of that. I'll oh, get out of town. Fine, I'll show you on this. I'll show you. I, was, I was doing it before. Pain the bloody ass. Oh, it lets you share things, but not uh, only not not MKV files. Uh, so if I press play, that should do the trick, right? And second, we're going to play it. Then I'll be able to share the screen. Uh, and it's it's not uh, in your own time. Rush, no rush or hurry. Oh, there you go. It's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. It's got a play time. Off you go. Oh, there you go. Any second now. Okay, let me get. Move it on a tiny bit so you can see. Okay, that must be it. Okay, let's. Uh, 
Wow, it really doesn't like this MKV. So fine, let me go. Share screen. Now we can, I can really just do a two second burst of this, I think, otherwise I'll get in trouble. But you see, you can see like the video quality. So it's like, yeah, and the quality is not bad. Here we go. Let me go back to some of the slow, uh, this uh, special effects. Okay. But uh, she she took, blew up her career. Uh, uh, one Pablo of that, not that really matter. What you do after Babylon Five, Claudia, whatever her name was. Okay, come on, let's find. Oh man, it look it just it's so nineties, man. Oh, there you go. And years after the Earth when Barry So there, yeah, you can see what these special effects are like. So I, for me, I think it's watchable, right? For me, I think it's watchable. Uh, but yeah, so I saw that first episode. Uh, Asriel Beckin, have O. Oh, have O oh what? What does that mean? I don't know. One second. We've got to share this. I, I, uh, how was it? There we go. Have you watched any Resident, uh, any Resident Alien yet? No, I, I, hear, I just heard about it tonight. Right, right. I, I have to check out. God, another thing to watch. Leave me alone. Is it episodic? How many episodes of it is it? Hang on a second. If it, if they've dropped it all in one thing, I don't think I, can, I don't think I can handle it. Right. I, 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 again, I, I want to see Copper and Kai. I'm just so into that. Uh, so it's a good. Uh, so sci-fi, that's a good sign. That means it'd probably be weekly. Uh, so many episodes have been. Fine. Okay, it's weekly. Uh, I still got three episodes to catch up on. Uh, but no, there's not. Okay, fourth episode is uh, it's February seventeenth. Fine, fine. I'll catch up on that. I'll catch up by then and do a super review of all three uh, three episodes. Uh, by Peter Hogan. That's interesting. And Steve, I'm based on by Peter Hogan, but Stephen Parkhouse. Created by Chris Sheridan. Don't know him. Uh, Alan Tudor. Yeah, he's definitely worth watching. Uh, don't know anybody else involved with that. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Uh, Gene Giovanni. Uh, it looks like a uh, feed from the 90s. It, it looks very... I listen, it could really do with a new uh, uh, spruce. What's, it? What's this? I watched the uh, first season and gave up on New Trek. Uh, among things, I'm not exactly a fan of the showrunner cuts and paste. Uh, entire game of yeah, oh god, what are we talking about? Game of Thrones. I saw that with my son. That that's self-destructed. Fine. Okay. So listen, I think I've, I think we covered everything. We did the uh, so yeah. So Kurtzman, do you think like uh, Chibnall, the blood is in the water, right? Do you think it seems to be okay to criticize him now? Which uh, good news. Good news. I think good news for the world, right? That could so, so, certainly make things better. Fine. Uh, can, before I go, can I ask you guys to uh, like, share, share, subscribe, subscribe. Here is this week's uh, uh, competition prize. It is uh, Judge Dread Bro Brothers in Blood. Um, quite, quite. It's only good. Let me show you some. It's got Carlos of Queezer stuff. Oh, man, this is good stuff. Okay, this is a good uh, uh, trade payback. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. And in the, con in the comments, leave the hashtag. Um, what's the bloody hashtag? Uh, Judge Rico. Judge Rico. Uh, let's not forget coming this time next week. We're, I'm doing a big stream, right? It's going to be this thing, my uh, uh, Indiegogo, these two graphic novels. Uh, I want to get as many guests as I can on it. It's going to be prizes galore. Um, how we're going to do it is uh, we're going to uh, give prizes out retroactively. So, like, yes, you know, third backer gets this. Uh, this is a prize, and it's going to the third backer. I'll well, say after. You know, uh, uh, the people have done it, so I don't want to. I don't want. I want it to be random. That's the thing. I want it, want it to be random. Uh, I've just secured a really good level, right? Just as good, a really good level. Uh, we're trying to work out a price. I think it's going to be. This is going to be an eighty dollar level. For that, you get both books, right? You get um, well as long as you sign the email list, you get all four of the the art cards. Um, you get a a, a hand drawn personalized sketch by dominic rancher right that that's like it's better than a signature like you get you get like a, it's better than a sketch cover right so i think that's going to be 80 dollars. i think that's a uh, if i can make it 75 i will uh but i think it's going to be 80 dollars 
uh, and then uh, we we have, we have higher and stuff. But I wanted to get something because the, the pricing right now is you guys like twenty twenty five for one book. One book is twenty. The other book is twenty five. Uh, then together, if if you're the first thirty people, and you're going to get the link for this if you join the email list. If you're the first thirty people people you get uh you can get the 30 for 30 right i'm going to be selling both these books together for 45 eventually but uh the first 30 people get get it for, for th uh, 30 bucks you get this so it's a big saving then the next 35 people get it for 35 then the next 40 people get it for 40 right that that's the plan so you got it i didn't want to make things the first day exclusives but i want to make things um i want to you know incentivize uh getting it going so we've got that going on uh, there's other stuff I want to throw in. There's that really other, like the more the more it makes, the better the better the product's going to be. Like the um, once it gets uh, if it gets to twenty thousand, once it gets to twenty thousand, then we're going to be uh, um, uh, we're going to be uh, uh, what's it adding? I think what twenty pages into into uh, the Imperium. So there's got you're adding five pages in straight away as a as a five. Uh, uh, when we hit 5,000, we're adding five pages in, so I hope to get that pretty soon. Uh, hitting five pages in, uh, and uh, th so there's a lot more I want to explore London with the characters. I want to have much more uh, Doctor Who, Patrick Jackson's Doctor Who in London. And I think if we get to 20 pages, I want to do a scene where he drops acid, right? Where he drops acid in Hyde Park while watching the Rolling Stones play. Um, now, if we get to like significant mind, once we get to 40,000. I'm going to do uh, a biblical with is going to get colored, uh, not completely colored. It's going to just add like a tone of color to each, each to one or two tones of color to, add, to give it just more. A little bit of You'll see, you, uh, I'm going to make, make those pages um, and put them up on the site so you can see on the, uh, on the page. So that's, the, that's if it's 40 grand, but if it hits, uh, I think after that, if it's 60 grand, then biblical, uh, not biblical, then uh, back to the Imperium again, it's going to be partially in color, right? It's mostly in black and white, but it's going to be partially in color. So when um, when we do the trip sequence, we can really make it three-dimensional, right? Crazy and three-dimensional. Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, oh, we might even do it. Do it. If we get enough money, we, we might do it in 3D, right? Oh, that's kind of annoying reading that in uh, Leaf Extraordinary Gentlemen. But yeah, but that, that would be fun. And then I would add in more bonuses in, in, in color. Like as a bonus of that, but you also get the Ice Warriors, which is, uh, yeah, I'll share that with you. This is the only place you can get it because there's no way I can sell this. Uh, go biblical comic. Ice Warriors is a weekly uh, one page strip I did with uh, uh, Stefano Cardaselli, right? Because it started off in black and white. One second. See, I was going to go, and I got chatting again. <laughs> Uh, here we go. I swear. So start off in black and white. It's a black and white, like one page strip. Um, so basically they're in this like big firefight and he's got this idiot, uh, 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 commander. Uh, so he says, so says this great line. Sire, we must retreat to orbit or via tran to orbit via trans maps. So they, and the, uh, the officer's like, hold your ground. You, Damn cowards! So this guy, so then he goes. Uh, I raise my weapon and take aim at the only target that uh, that makes any sense. And he blows his commander's head off. I like the sound effect. I like. I, I listen. I talk up my work. And I talk. You gotta love your stuff. But you see the sound effect. It's like you know, emulate the uh, ice warrior. So then uh, he goes. Yeah, I know. In I, was it? Uh, so he activates the transmat. Tries work. The transmat grabs us, and I start to black out. Uh, I know I will wake up. Uh, I know I will wake up to face court martial, court martial and shot at dawn. Um, the Lord Captain will be honored as a fallen hero. I, a lowly traitor. But my brothers in blood and ice will live on for, uh, and I, and for that, I have no regrets. You know, I should really get, uh, get like a voice actor and do like a, a motion comic of this. It'll be really quite cool. I think this will be a good cartoon. Um, so anyway, so then he, the plot is he wakes up the next day in, in back in hospital, and they punish him not by executing him, but by promoting him to Ice Lord, right? So then you got this, this story called Black Snow, where he's like this Ice Lord has to come in to investigate things. This was totally based on uh, a movie called uh, 
uh, Eastern Promises, right? Yeah, which is has the most disturbing assassination thing with uh, what's his name, Morgan Vigerstern being attacked uh, with his bollock naked, being attacked by two guys with big razor blades, uh, the switch blades. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's very razor disturbing. So there's a kind of uh, based on that. Uh, uh, so yeah, I have this bit where he like he has to face off against like the muscle where he is. He, he has this blade come out, schnick schnick. Has like this Wolverine like ching, the, the blades come out, uh, and then it ends up. But so then we go into color, right? So I might colorize the the, the other things. I, I did all the color on this. So then we had the we we started this major arc called Dark Heart, right? Uh, where uh, it's essentially Apocalypse Now, right? It's Apocalypse Now as a, as a, with Ice Warriors. Um, this is a great Cyberman sequence, uh, uh, like the cyber hives, uh, yeah, and like it, it, it starts off with a cyber head, uh, it, it make matters cyber battle. So, yeah, listen, uh, uh, if we uh, if we make, make enough money, I'll uh, uh, we, we'll, we'll put all this in color, uh, and you know, I'll finish it off. We, we I put another 10 pages of this, this in there, you know, it's it, it's a good uh, so it's 16. I'll make that. I'll, I'll add that up to another like twenty-five pages. It'll like be a nice package. But uh, for that, we got to get up to like sixty grand, right? Which you know that 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 would be an aim. And then beyond that, I don't know. I don't know. Beyond that, we, if we get up to eighty grand, then uh, I don't know. I think we'll, we would have to put in preview. Like we have to add you a different. Like I don't know. We'll just. I'll keep. We, that's the thing. The more the better, more successful is the more you. Uh, um, uh, you more you upgrade, you upgrade the package for, for everyone, right? So that that's really the goal. Uh, having a moment with a the rabbi, then I have to get back to work uh, on my graphic novel project. You got to come on, Gene. You got to come on uh, with my mates. We have a lot more. Come on, we got to talk about it. They're like really get get in contact, and we'll uh, we'll work something out. Um, there's something intangible, but the hardware makes a difference to my viewing. Uh, okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, I listen to oh, I listen to sci-fi on Valve Rages. Yeah, that sounds so cool. Oh man, that sounds so cool. I bet there's a difference. You know, there's a difference between vinyl and CD. That sounds so cool. You should do some recordings. Of that. I mean, you, yeah, listen, you should release recordings of that. That's really incredible, right? Um, <laughs> even rabbi's mutating even this guy. If I could mutate into his success, I certainly would. Are you out your mind? Yeah, of course I would. <laughs> yeah, if I he, he's one of the guys I, I, I want to invite on for my stream this time next week. Fine, okay, I gotta go. I gotta see what disasters are going on upstairs. Uh, what fights are going on? Like what's going, what's happening with the plumber? That's that's a big one. Uh, I wish you all a very very good evening. Uh, I think Noel just came on. He's doing he's doing undiscovered country. I thought he's doing that on Wednesday. Doing undiscovered, I'll, I'll, I'll head over there right now. Here, here. You know what? Let me let me pull up his. Uh, uh, let me pull up the stream. I'll put it in the chat before I go. Right. Oh, there you go. Yeah, totally. Uh, uh, fine. What time is he starting that? Okay, so we started. Fine. <laughs> okay, I just started streaming his uh, his. Uh... <laughs> uh, oh man, Indigo gets. Listen, I'll, I'll work to get in contact privately if you want. I will work that we can do PayPal, right? Uh, uh, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. Fine. Okay. I'm going to head off. I'm in the end broadcast button. Uh, head on over to Not Null Stream. I've discovered country, man. Awesome movie. Yeah. I'm going to get something to me and, and join in on that. Uh, get, have yourself.